Hi, everybody. This is Ben Orenstein from CodulateScreencasts.com, and I'm here today to show you how to contribute to the Rails documentation. Now, contributing to Rails' documentation is a perfect first step for someone that wants to contribute to Rails but isn't ready to dive into contributing code level changes yet. Contributing to the documentation is a lot easier, but is still a great way to give back to the community. Now, the first step is to read the contribution guidelines that are on the wiki beneath the Doc Rails repository. So if we click the wiki link, we'll see these two links up here, API documentation guidelines and Ruby on Rails guides guidelines. Now API documentation is any comment that appears in the actual Rails code itself. So these are class level comments or method level comments. The Ruby on Rails guides guidelines are for the guides themselves. Uh, they still live in the Doc Rails repository, but they have separate rules and guidelines. Now that you've read the appropriate guidelines for the change you want to make, the next step is to message LIFO on GitHub and ask him for commit access to the Doc Rails repository. Now, he's going to grant this to you because Doc Rails has an open commit policy, so anybody can push up to it at any time. And what will happen is every so often a Rails core team member will merge the changes from the Doc Rails repository back into Rails proper. This is actually a pretty good system because it means that your documentation changes can get into Rails very quickly with very little overhead. Now I've already messaged LIFO and I already have commit access on the Doc Rails repository. So now I'm actually ready to make my change. So I've got a local clone copy of the Doc Rails repository and I'm going to open up the file I want to change in Vim. Now of course you can use some other editor uh, though I have no idea why you would want to. So here's the file I want to change. Now the issue is there's a typo in the documentation up on line 6. So this documentation is talking about the tableize method. And the tableize method takes a class name and returns uh, whatever Rails would name that table in the database. However, if you see up on line 6, it says, for instance, you can figure out the name of a database from the name of a class. What this person really meant was the name of a table from the name of a class. So I'm going to change that right here and save it. Now I'm going to go commit the change I just made. Uh, there's my modified file, there's the change I just made, uh, and I'm going to give a good commit message. Okay, so I've made my commit, and now I'm going to go ahead and push up uh, my change I've just made. Now it's important to know, uh, this is actually pushing up to LIFO's repository. Uh, you can see where it's going. I did not fork the repository and push it to my own fork. I pushed it right to Doc Rails. And as I said, I'm able to do this because I have commit access on that repository, uh, which LIFO granted to me and which will be granted to anybody who asks for it. Now, if we go back to the Doc Rails repository and I reload it, I'll see that the commit I just made uh, has been pushed up there. And there's our change. Now, as I've said, in a couple days, uh, someone from the Rails core team will merge the Doc Rails repository over to the main Rails repository, and every change in here will make its way into Rails. So in just a few days, if you do something like this, you'll be able to load up that Rails repo and see your own pretty face smiling back at you, and you will have given back to the community and helped everybody out. Now, that's actually it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the screencast. But more importantly, I hope it's inspired you a little bit by seeing just how easy it is to contribute to the documentation. Uh, I would love to see a handful of new people adding, editing, contributing. It's a great way to give back to the community that has already given us so much. And finally, if you enjoyed this screencast, I hope you'll check out my site, CodulateScreencasts.com. I have two awesome screencasts up right now, uh, one for mastering Vim for Rails developers, and the other using Amazon S3 and Rails applications. I hope you check them out. Thanks.